Hey everyone, welcome down to the shop again. I'm Bill and this is a little bonus video this week in our mold making series. If you haven't checked out the silicone and the urethane videos yet, go give them a look. That's required viewing to go forward with this series. Next week, we're gonna start showing you how to actually build some molds with a simple one part mold. But before you jump in and start pouring some goo on your stuff, then you wanna learn how to prep that piece for mold making. These pieces right here are parts that I've built that I've made molds on top of. These are called the masters. For example, here is Maroon's Razor. It is a nice, lovely shade of ruddy red primer. It's all ready to go. Put some silicone on it, albeit a little dusty. Prepping your master for mold making is all about getting the surface finish to the texture that you want so that all of the pieces that get pulled out of that don't have to have additional work done to them. This prep work saves you a lot of time with all the copies that you make. So you want to make sure that you spend a good amount of time getting them to where you want them to be. So what needs to get cleaned up? Just about everything, actually. Every dent, scratch, texture, little bit that you put on your master will get caught in that silicone, whether you want it to or not. Now, especially when you're using things like Bondo or any other body filler, you're gonna do a lot of sanding after you apply it to get it down to the shape, form, and texture that you want. This is why I like to alternate between a couple of different colored primers. I'll go between a gray primer, like this fella here, and a dark red primer right here. What I do is I get my prop to the form that I want pretty closely, then I'll hit it with some primer to see more of the obvious things that need to get fixed, and then I'll sand that down to a pretty good finish. Then I'll hit it with a different color primer, and as I sand that down, I'll chew through the layers and see the high spots and the low spots, see any spots that need to get filled again, and see any spots that will require additional sanding. This process gets repeated, sanding, priming, sanding, and priming, until I'm totally happy with the finish on the prop. You can also add texture if you want to. So for example, uh, if you wanted to spray a textured spray paint on a handle, let's say, to make all of the pieces that get cast out of that have that texture on it, or you can add vinyl decals to add little bits of raised up areas that will show up in your silicone mold. Either way, it's all about getting the texture that you want. You can even polish your prop down to a mirror finish if that's what you want all of the copies to be like when they come out of the mold. Here you can see a couple of example bits that we've done. We've got one bit here that is uh, not quite refined to what I would want. You can still see some of the bumps and dents from the body filler. Next to that, we have an area that has been sanded and dowed to a nice smooth finish. That's about a 400 grit finish right there. Next to that, you can see an area that's got a little bit of textured spray paint on it. That'll show up in the silicone for all of your castings. And then of course, next to that, we've got a little bit of an area that's been sanded down nice and smooth. And then I added some vinyl decals to it. And of course, those details will show up in all of the castings. I made a quick mold of all of those pieces and you can see how well that silicone really grabs all of that texture. Then of course, when you cast a piece out of it, all of those details get transferred to the urethane resin. Another thing to consider are deep crevices. Your silicone, especially if it's got small deep parts, may tear when you try and remove it from your molded pieces. So you may have to add some clay into some of those areas to fill them a little bit that will require some extra removal of your cast pieces later on, but it will keep your mold from ripping. So there you go, a quick breakdown of how to prepare your pieces for mold making. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you haven't seen our other mold making videos yet, go check them out. Those will get you ready to go for our one part molding and casting video coming up on Monday. We'll also be doing an FAQ video soon all about molding and casting. So if you have specific questions about that, leave them in the comments down below. We'll collect all those questions and we'll do an FAQ in a couple of weeks. Thanks again for checking out the video, you guys. Give it a like if you liked it and stick around. I hope you guys are excited as I am about doing some real molding and casting coming up next week. Now get out there and mold something.